Welcome to Midway TV. Uh, you know me, I'm Cole. Uh, now you know me for sure. I usually do lots of takes. Today uh, we're having Fireside with Travis. And so uh, I'm going to introduce Travis Harms. Most of you guys know him. Uh, he's been uh, uh, one of our uh, team members here for how long? Like a hundred years? Yeah, about a hundred years. Okay, yeah. About a hundred years he's been around uh, hanging out with us. And so we're going to give him a chance in just a little bit to uh, explain a little bit more what he does around the year and then uh, we're going to talk about camp and so uh, stay tuned for episode two doo -doo -doo -doo. intro music so travis uh today we just want to chat a little bit about camp uh talk about some camp memories and kind of yeah, maybe sure. bring in some people if you know people uh, that may be watching, uh, feel free to, to give him a shout out. Uh, and then we're going to talk about camp this summer and it's going to look a little bit different, but we're going to talk about, uh, how it looks different and, and maybe what you're up to this summer. And yeah. so, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Travis. Uh, well, my name is Travis and I live here in Thompson. I've lived here for about a hundred years. Yeah. Um, I recently got married. Um, Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, you guys remember Crystalline? She's now my wife. So that, that that's pretty cool. And, right on. Um, yeah. During the rest of the year, I do some construction work. I call it Midway Builders. We have a good time. So, some of you might notice a connection between Midway Bible Camp and Midway Builders. It's kind of subtle, but the connection is that there's Midway in both of the names. So what is what is Midway Builders? Midway Builders is a like it's like a small discipleship program, and so um, we build stuff and we talk about God. It's kind of like doing maintenance at camp all year round, except we're working not at camp. We're working here. We're working all around Thompson. So it's like maintenance, not at camp. Yeah, but all year and not during camp. Exactly. Okay. Precisely. Got it. All right, so uh, let's dig into camp a little bit. And so uh, you've been coming to camp for a number of years already, mm -hmm. uh, like five or six years. Uh, you've been involved at Midway Bible Camp. Uh, you've been doing everything from maintenance to uh, chapel speaker to counselor. Uh, tell us what uh, what do you think about camp? Uh, what's maybe and then maybe. Uh, go back and, and share with us a memory from camp, Some, uh, a funny story, uh, one of your favorite uh, memories from Midway Bible Camp. Well, I think camp is a, a, a really good time for everyone to grow closer to each other and grow closer to God. Um, there's something about being together with uh, like-minded people and just an, an encouraging um, atmosphere that's that's been really helpful for for me now and and when I was a kid too I, I went to Bible camp not to Midway but I went to Bible camp and it was it was a really really growing experience for me so I really support um, really support Bible camp and what was the question? cool yeah so maybe what's uh, what's one of your favorite memories from Midway Bible camp um, probably one of my favorite memories is uh, taking my teens campers uh, cliff jumping shout out to Benjamin Sinclair Shout out. Nice. Yep. Uh, cliff jumping, uh, boat riding, jumping off the boat, and going swimming during fishing skill. Um, yep. All of those things. Very cool. Uh, so camp isn't happening this summer the way that we're all used to. And so typically we'd be out there already in June yeah. getting stuff ready and cleaning up and uh, getting all the food piled into the kitchen and getting the grass cut. Yeah. But right now, because of uh, COVID and some of the restrictions in place, we can't we can't do camp the way we used to, uh, yeah. just for this summer. And so now we're we're looking at uh, camp is going to be a lot different. Obviously, we're doing these videos, and uh, but that's not all. We're not just doing a few of these videos once a week. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you're planning uh, for this summer with Midway Bible Camp? Yeah. So Cole asked me to be a a, a virtual speaker. Um, so I know I've, I've been a speaker other, other years at, at Bible camp and, um, yeah, we, we want to still offer 
um, Bible teaching to you guys, though we can't do that in person. So um, myself and a few other people are going to be virtual speakers um, throughout the summer. So I'm going to have five five sessions uh, for you guys coming in the middle of July. How much does that cost? Pretty sure it costs nothing. All you have to do is like have an internet connection or borrow someone's internet connection or Walmart's internet connection. All great options, really. Absolutely. Good. Cool. And so uh, you're going to be speaking this summer. Uh, can we expect any other videos from you? Yeah, you can expect a, a, little, a, a little video from me pretty much every day. I'm just going to give you a little insight into what I'm doing. And you can come say hi. You can make your own videos and say hi to me too. That'd be great. You heard it. So Travis is going to be around this summer. So you can uh, tune in and they're going to find you on YouTube. And we're also going to be posting all that content onto our Facebook page as well. And so if you don't want to miss anything from Travis, make sure you head over to YouTube channel Midway Bible Camp and uh, subscribe. And also head on Facebook. If you have it, go to Facebook at Midway Bible Camp and you'll find us. Uh, you'll find our page and where we're going to be posting all of our, uh, all of our content there as well. I'm really uh, looking forward to this summer, and even though it's different, uh, I'm really looking forward to this summer and uh, hearing some of the teaching and, uh, and hopefully connecting with you guys. And so we're going to be doing all the giveaways and, and the Bible verse contests and all that kind of stuff. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, you've already heard about some of those things, and uh, we're going to keep reminding you about it so you don't forget. Uh, but this summer, uh, you're going to be speaking for one week. Can you give us a little sneak peek into the week number three is when Travis will be speaking. Can you give us a sneak peek as to what that week is going to look like uh, and maybe what you're going to be talking about? We're going to be talking on a whole different bunch of subjects about how we can know God for real. How do we actually know God and how do we grow closer to Him? That's what I'm going to be talking about, and I'm going to be taking Bible stories, and I'm going to be explaining them through my, through my lens, just through everyday life, trying to make it really, really real, you know? Because God is real, and God is real, and He loves us, and and we want to we want to get to know Him because He's He's our Creator, and He He knows us uh, so much better, um, and then we we just want to kind of turn that around and we want to get to know him a little bit uh, as the person who created us and made us and knows all about us. I'd, I'd like to get to know him more too. So I'm looking forward to that, Travis. Anyways, yeah. uh, so thanks for coming on to the episode today, Travis. And uh, you guys know where to find him this summer. He's going to be all over YouTube and Facebook on Midway Bible Camp. And you know where to find us. <laughs> Travis, do you have anything, any, uh, do you have any closing words that you want to share with us? Well, one of my friends, he's kind of an elder in Split Lake, he always tells me, stay cool and hang loose. Great advice. All right, until next time, take care.